Hi, it's Rob. This will be a quick one. I'm away on a book writing boot camp at the moment. I'm, I'm helping some people write their books. And I've wanted to take a little bit of a step away from maybe some of the social media and some of the limelight. Uh, it's not something I do very often and it's been really healthy for me. Though somewhat um, fighting my own boredom and frustration as well. Uh, so as you can see from the title of this live stream, um, alcohol and entrepreneurship and whether they mix or not. I'm seeing more and more posts about this and I think it's something really important to discuss. Now, I do not judge what people do as long as it's not, you know, really um, harmful to others. And as such, if people want to drink, cool. Um, I made a very strategic decision probably around five years ago, 100%. But maybe 10 years ago, 90% to quit drinking. Um, now, the reason that I did this, and I want to let you know this is not a preach. Um, this is just a discussion. I get asked it a lot. People know I don't drink. I think they're surprised. Certainly did enough of it in my teens and 20s. Uh, there's probably some videos flying around there with my pants around my ankles or whatever. Um, but as I got older, my hangovers got longer. Uh, and, and when I'm working for myself... I want to be on it. I want to be on it from the day I open the door to the day I close the, the, the minute I open the door to the minute I close the door when I'm working for myself in my own business. Um, and if it takes you three, four, five hours or three days to actually be um, you know, on it, energetic, the brain thinking quick, then obviously you're losing a lot of time. And time is money and time is progress and time is growth in business for sure. So um, I found my hangovers got a lot longer as I got older. Um, now, in the old days, I'd go, go out on the piss on a Thursday night, a Friday night, a Saturday night, wouldn't make any difference. But now, if I drunk on a Friday night, it would probably ruin me till Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, as Ellen has just said, I'm a total lightweight. It does make you a cheap date, um, but you know, in, in, um, it's not really good for, for business. Um, by the way, just be interesting to note, those of you that are watching, um, do you drink much? Are you drinking less now you run your own business? Um, I don't actually think people should think it's okay to drink and then go to work and be hungover as fuck in someone else's business. Because again, you're going to be performing at 50%, which might not be good for your career, not be good for your boss. I think people tend to do that because they think it's okay or they'll get away with it. Um, so... Um, if you uh, also for me, the benefit of drinking just over time in my 30s, it just went. I'd have one or two. They'd make me tired. I'd be grumpy. Then I'd want to go to bed early and then I'd still have a bit of a hangover the next day. And I only had two drinks. So I might as well have zero drinks. Also, I'm an all or nothing kind of person. So zero or 20 shots of tequila snorted through my nose, which we used to do at university, by the way. Um, not, yeah. So um, a kind of for me, all or nothing. But there's no doubt um, that it does affect product productivity um, and energy and enthusiasm and your, your, your social nature. Now, what if uh, drinking is very much a part of your social um, and business life? Um, so maybe you could do it on a Friday uh, and not on a Saturday so that then Monday you're fresh. Maybe you could do it once a month instead of once a week. And maybe you could get to seven or eight or your limit where you know you're feeling good, but then anything beyond that, the next uh, day you'll be ruined and stop. Maybe you could not mix your drinks. Again, look, I'm not preaching, but if you can have that bit of control and know your limit and know that, okay, that's the cutoff point and anything, anything after that, I'll be done. You know, that's probably good self-discipline. And ultimately, let's be honest, in business, self-discipline will equal money, growth, referrals, um, you know, the beating of your competition. Discipline is essentially doing what you know you should do, even when you don't feel like doing it. Deborah gave up 27 years ago. Someone in here just said they gave up 13 months ago. So let me know. Do you drink? Have you balanced? I'd like to speak to people who do drink, but they feel that they've got a good balance and it doesn't ruin their business at all and it doesn't ruin their day at all. Um, I just find my brain is a bit thick. Even if I drunk on the Friday and then I'm, I work on the Monday, I'm just not quite as quick. And if you think that takes five or 10 hours out of your week, where it just makes you a bit slower and a bit more grumpy, then of course, compounded over 10 years, that could be huge. Paul has just said it's poison. So um, I don't think there's any harm in you quitting drinking. Um, a lot of people do it through social pressure. Um, I've got a very good friend who's one of our speaker trainers. She's in the community. I um, went to a speaker boot camp. She was one of the um, clients that I came with the speaker boot camp. 
And um, for sure, she felt massive social pressure in her village to drink. And she even said, we can't, no one could go out and enjoy themselves without drinking. Everyone gets on, on each other's back without drinking. And that used to be the same with my mates. So in the end, if I didn't want to do that, I'd go out, I'd sort of pretend to drink, uh, I'd sort of sip it and then just chuck it away. And then once they all got pissed around 10 o'clock, I'd just bugger off home. And in the end, that'd, that'd annoy them the next day or the day after. But half the time they were so um, drunk, they didn't even notice. And in the end, they just kind of let me get on with it. Um, Charlie's just asked, just, does Mark drink? Not really. I mean, he does maybe a few times a year, but I know he gets really ruined on the hangovers. He's got some friends who, uh, uh, you know, like really egg him on. And Mark, if he has a drink on the Saturday night, he can be done until Wednesday. And that is the same with me as well. And I know he regrets it when he goes big. Uh, and I do too. So um, that's why I ducked out. Now, I found zero was easier and better than two you know, or two twice a week or whatever. For me, that just worked. Again, not judging. Um, Now, for those of you that still do drink and you like a drink, and of course, that's cool. um, Why don't you test a month no drink and see what happens? So I'm listening to Richard Branson's latest um, uh, book, Finding My Virginity, which is the follow up to losing my virginity. And um, he talks in there when he got really hammered and sort of was a, a bit too forward with Jensen Button's wife and um, pissed on someone's trousers when he was in the toilet. It was really funny, actually. Um, and he said he felt so embarrassed and the press got all over him that he decided to not drink for six months. Uh, and he did it and he went through with it. So those of you that do like a drink, or maybe you don't piss on people's trousers, um, but why don't you try a month, no drink, and see what happens. And if you find, you know what, actually enjoy a drink once a week or whatever for a little bit with some control, go back on it. But you might find you don't enjoy it and actually you're not going to do it again, just like if you give up sugar or just like if you train five days a week for, for 30 days or if you come off coffee um, for a month or whatever. So they're my thoughts. If I could summarise... I found the older I've got, the bigger the hangovers get. And they definitely affect your week. Even if you think you're not hungover, you're just tired, lethargic and slower. For me, business and entrepreneurship is really important. And therefore, drinking is not as important. Um, For social pressure, I really don't care. And I'll just do whatever I think is right for me. If drinking was a big part of the social scene, I'd do it on the Friday. I'd have a cut off. Um, And, you know, so I wouldn't get to the point where I'm completely out of control and I'm ruined and I'd make sure that, you know, okay, I lose a bit most of Saturday, Sunday I'm better and then Monday I'm on it again. I don't think you should worry about what other people think and all the social pressures. Incidentally, back to my friend um, who was on my speaker boot camp who felt massive social pressure. She was also putting on a lot of weight. And she, uh, I said to her, look, try it. Try going a few weeks and cutting it right down. And she did. And it's, it's made a massive impact in her life. She's significantly happier, um, fitter, healthier, lost a lot of weight. Uh, and of course, more on it, more engaged. You know, you probably have your big arguments. You probably aren't your most professional when you're hungover, just like when you're really tired or you haven't had sleep. So anyway, they're my thoughts. I would love your thoughts. Remember, no judgment coming from me um, because at the end of the day, drinking is a social thing. Uh, and um, for some people, it's right to do it. But just make sure um, it, you know, it doesn't affect your mood um, and your business and your energy and your time. Thanks for tuning in. It is pissing it down outside, although you can't see. Uh, uh, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.